We're going to do some vegetation cover assessments. We are at the Homosassa Springs State Wildlife Park. Today I'm going to be completing my monthly monitoring in which I examine each of the floating wetlands. My name is Barbara Schelt and I'm an environmental scientist at the Southwest Florida Water Management District. These floating wetland islands are designed to improve water quality by taking up nutrients and to provide habitat for small fish and invertebrate. These floating wetland islands were constructed with buoyant materials and planted with native emergent wetland plants in order to mimic natural floating wetlands. Due to concerns that manatees may attempt to forage on the plants, the floating wetland islands in the spring runs were designed to have caging around the top and around the bottom to exclude grazing. Also from the animal's perspective too, to see which ones are kind of holding up. Here at the park, the animal exhibits have water that flows out into the spring run, and of course there is nutrients that is produced by the animals in the exhibits, and so the floating wetlands are designed to try to take up some of those nutrients. The floating wetland islands improve water quality because the emergent plants have roots that hang beneath the floating wetlands and these roots uptake nutrients through their biofilms and the plant uptake that naturally occurs. There are a number of plants that have been uh, installed into these floating wetlands and these plants include cardinal flower, arrow alum, yellow canna, spike rush, and a number of other emergent species. Monthly monitoring is being conducted in order to confirm that the plants are thriving in this environment. It's really exciting for me to be part of this project because it is some new ground that we're covering and it could produce results that would be very beneficial to this habitat.